Hello YouTube, um, so just going to give you a little bit of an update, I've been a little bit quiet over the last couple of weeks, so um, after the Warrington show, um, which was beginning of this month, uh, where I managed to play second and qualify for the British, I then had about two or three weeks where I had uh, a little bit too much junk food. I'm sure you've probably seen my 15,000 calorie cheat day. I was sticking to my diet. I was just adding in additional things that I shouldn't have been eating. Mainly things like flapjack, muffins, a few too many five guys. Um, but, you know, I was dieting for, for quite a period of time. So it was quite nice to, to let my hair down and relax a little bit. Um, I decided um, about, what was it? about two and a half weeks ago, um, that I'm going to do the English Grand Prix show. So I'm three weeks out from that now. So I've done just short of a six week diet, but obviously I, I didn't have too much to lose, only a little bit that I put on between um, the Warrington um, and deciding to do the show. Um, so, so like I said, I'm three weeks out from the show. So, you know, just working hard now to get the body fat off and stay lean. And then, once I finish the English Grand Prix, I think it will be around 13 weeks to the British. Um, so I'm going to maintain my diet throughout July. Um, however, when I finish the English Grand Prix show, I'm going to have a solid week off the gym. Um, you know, like My body is feeling um, the pain a little bit from, you know, this will be my third show and I've been dieting since the 2nd of January. So... Yeah, I've been training hard, so my body does need a little bit of rest. I'm starting to get a few aches and pains. So I'm going to have a week off the gym. I'm going to have two weeks off the diet and then back on to the diet. So I've got a trip in Italy that I've got to go to. Um, so I've got a week's holiday. And then when I get back, I've got seven weeks to get ready for the British. So the plan is to stay lean throughout July, not put on too much body fat. Just have a couple of days after the show, like I've said, where I'm going to relax a little bit. I might even do a 20,000 calorie cheat day video, so look forward to that one. And also just to get all the cravings out of my system as well. And then when I go to Italy, I don't want to be dieting. Um, you know, I do want to spend a little bit of time with my fiance, um, enjoying a little bit of Italian food and just enjoying the weather. So I'm going to semi-diet when I'm in Italy. By semi-diet, I mean I will be trying to make conscious healthy meal choices and I will take some food out with me however I will probably have a couple of cheap meals it'd be rude not to have a pizza in Italy and a lasagna and um, so get back from Italy and then seven weeks out from the British so what I'm going to do is you know up from now to the British I'm going to do you know some videos every couple of days and um, just keep you updated different things and different elements of contest prep and just show you what I'm going through and see the transformation. So, if there's any videos or anything that you want to see, um, do let me know. So, if you're more interested in, you know, the diet, the day by day food, um, I'm not really one for counting macros. However, you know, if you want to know my macro breakdown, I'll happily um, work it out and go through that as well. Um, more training videos, whatever it is, just let me know. So, but I will be doing videos a bit more often now. Um, leading up until the British, which is on the 3rd and 4th of October. So, just about to head into the kitchen now, uh, and I'm going to get my meal prep done for tomorrow, so um, I'll show you what I'm currently eating three weeks out, uh, and I'll show you what my meal preparation is like. So, I'm going to head into the kitchen and get my cook on, so I'll see you in there. Yes, yes, what's up YouTube? So, it's been quite a good day today. Went over to Wales um, with one of my friends, Kane, and James Llewellyn took us for a back session, um, which was absolutely nails. So, i um, just been chilling out from that, recovering a little bit. So, got up my cardio now, so I'm doing a lot more cardio for these next couple of weeks, just to try and dial it in a little bit more, ready for the show. So I'm just getting all my meal preps done for tomorrow. I always like to cook it the day before, um, just so I can chill out the following day. Not have to worry about cooking my meals. So 
I'll show you what I'm doing, show you what I'm cooking, and I'll show you what I'm currently eating three weeks out from my next show. So, first things first, get my white potatoes on. So I've got 200 grams of white potato, which I will have with my white fish meal, which will be my post-workout meal. Which one is that? Get that on. So the next up is getting my broccoli ready. Oh. God damn it. Oh. So I tend to eat quite a lot of veg when I'm dieting, just to pack the meals out a little bit. But I don't tend to eat too many greens in the off season. Maybe I should, but we'll see. It's because my meals are bigger in the off season, so I can't fit broccoli in my Tupperware pots, as well as all my other food. That's my excuse. Anyway, it's been an okay weekend. Not the best, because I wasn't allowed a cheat meal this weekend, because I'm a little bit behind where I should be. But thankfully, I am allowed one next weekend. So we'll be hitting up some Five Guys action, that's for sure. So I'll do my final leg session on Saturday. Uh, I'll probably train at Ministry of Fitness over in Bristol. And then head over to Five Guys after that. So I'm going to be counting down this week until then. Because I sure like my junk food. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Move the camera back in the angle. Quick up shot. Nice. So get my broccoli on. Oosh. Where's the lid for that? So. Get that cooking, got my carbs on. Next is my sweet potato. So, I'm gonna need my sweet potato for my meal tonight, and also my sweet potato for my meal tomorrow. So it's 150 grams per meal. So I need to shoot for just over 300 by the time I take the skin off. Um, what's that? That's about right. So, follow me to the microwave. Okay, so, that damn camera. Now we get this shit back. Until I buy myself one of those GoPros, rather than using the goddamn iPhone. Hey, that's alright actually. So, sweet potatoes. What you need. One juicy bag. Potatoes. And you fold that over. Going out the camera a little bit. Very amateurish there. Get that in the microwave for eight minutes because they're quite small potatoes. Bosh! Let's wait for that. So I already cut my rice a little bit earlier. Um, next up is a very delicious white fish. I got lots of white fish in my freezer. So I just buy the frozen stuff because I'm a cheapskate. And this bodybuilding malarkey is expensive as fuck. Shut that shit up. Fucking camera. Got that new camera. So, 300 grams of white fish, which is literally just better, which is just two breasts there. Breasts? Fish don't have breasts, fillets, fillets I mean. So, wait there. Like 
It's quite hard trying to film yourself and cook at the same time. So, get the fish, wrap it up in the foil, and run it down so you can see it a little bit better. Boom, ab shot in there too. So what season have we got? Garlic and herb twist, that looks good to me. I like lots of seasoning on my fish. I actually quite like white fish. Some people hate it. Um, however, I like it. Bit of Mrs. Dash onion and herb. And garlic and herb. I absolutely love garlic. So get that on there. Let me show you what that looks like. Boom. Yes. So wrap that up into like a little parcel. So it steams through when it's in the oven. Boom. That's that done. Next up is for the shakong. So I'm going to I layer everything with tin foil because I hate washing up. And as you know, when you eat a lot of food, you wash a lot of pots. So if I can see doing any washing, then I will do it. So I will layer that with tin foil. A little bit of coconut oil spray, just a little bit. Not too much. I'll oh, get that chicken that's been marinating for a few hours now onto the tray. So there's four chicken meals here. So I tend to cook chicken um, for two days at a time. I don't cook it fresh every day. So that'll be for Monday and Tuesday. So I've got 800 grams there. So 200 grams per meal. See what that looks like. Boom. So all that's next to do is get my fish and chicken in the oven, and then wait for my potatoes, and then get my meal cooked for tonight, which is salmon and sweet potato. So I'm just going to put my fish onto the oven tray. Still going to wait for the oven to heat up a little bit. So I've got the white potatoes and the broccoli getting cooked now. And then my proteins will go on once the oven's heated up. And I've got my sweet, sweet potatoes brewing in the microwave. And who said men can't multitask? Um, got my rice meal here for my chicken. So um, I cooked my rice earlier on. If you don't have a rice maker, you're making your life hard. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend you purchase a rice cooker. Right, so whilst that is all cooking, I'm going to get my breakfast ready for tomorrow. So, 80 grams of porridge oats. So I'm going to go and do my cardio um, work tomorrow morning before I start. So I'll get in there nice and early and then have my breakfast at work. Um, I quite like as it gets closer to the show doing, um, using a cross trainer a little bit more than going out and doing power walking. Um, just like it elevates my heart rate a little bit more and helps me um, burn a few more calories. So I've got my... 80 grams of porridge oats there and then also I have 125 grams of probiotic yogurt so I have gone for the blueberry and elderflower I always like to change things up I quite like the vanilla one to be fair but blueberries are good for you so 
Gotta go over. Perfect. And then I'll also have the protein shake for my breakfast, which I will make a little bit later on. So I'm just getting my pineapple ready. So with every meal, I have a pineapple ring. Pineapple's got special secret powers that helps um, the absorption of the food. So best way to prep this is to get a knife and slice all the way around the outside and then slice around the hard bit in the middle. Then, watch this. So, try and cut them fairly thin. So you cut it off. Boom, perfect ring. Everyone needs the Peppa Pig cut. It's just more masculine, Peppa Pig. Right, so I've been in the kitchen for 40 minutes. Um, and that's my meal prep done for tomorrow. So let me show you what we've got. So I've got my breakfast. I've got my 80 grams of oats. Um, I've been using the Walden Farm pancake syrup as well. And then my protein shake and also my yogurt that's in the fridge. I've got my intra and post-workout shake there. So post-workout is just 50 grams of white isolate. In my intra workout drink, I've got 25 grams of dextrose from Glycofuse, and two grams of HMB, and five grams of creatine. So I've got my two chicken meals here. So 50 grams of rice, 200 grams chicken. Exactly the same here. And then I've got 200 grams of white potato with white fish. 150 grams of sweet potato with white fish. Got my pineapple rings ready for tomorrow. Chicken there for Tuesday. And my final meal of today, apart from my shake, salmon and sweet potato. So I'm gonna enjoy this, chill out. And then I will see you later.